So we did a two-year study. Um, we located 42 nests uh, in the two years of that study, but for, for some, some logistical reasons, we only were able to include 30 of those nests in our nest survival monitoring. But of those 30 nests, only one was burned up. So that's about, that's a, you know, approximately a 3% risk of that turkey nest being burned up on a place that's managed as, you know, as intensively with fire as you'll find. We, um, we've also studied a species called Bachman sparrow, and Bachman sparrow is a songbird that is associated with frequently burned lonely pine communities and it nests and feeds on the ground and herbaceous cover. So it's a very fire adapted species and it nests um, at a similar time to turkey. So you would think again, burning during the early growing season would be a potential risk to that species. And we tracked 132 nests and we had only two of those 132 Bachman sparrow nests that were burned up. Just to continue, we did a similar study with Northern Bob White, and we tracked you know, uh, nearly 50 nests. Only two Northern Bob White nests were burned up by fire. Again, they're nesting Bob White, Northern Bob White nest on the ground. You, people are like, why, what are they doing this? They're doing this because these birds are queuing in on the vegetation that's, yeah. that's coming back after the fire. So this is all driven by the condition of the vegetation. 